With plenty of speculation that this month we're gonna get the first trailer for Avengers 4, it seemed like the perfect time to put out our first video with our speculation as to what's going to happen in the film before we know anything, before we even know the title, we're gonna start guessing as to what's gonna happen. Yep. So let's talk about it. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Sean. And I'm Andy. And we love to talk about movies and comic books way too much. With that in mind, go ahead and tell us your theories down below in the comments section. We'd love to hear what you think is gonna happen in Avengers 4. With that said, as we go into this, we're going to be talking about things that we've seen in set photos. Or read in the comics. And so, if you wanna go in totally fresh, you don't want anything out there, not the right video for you. But at the same time, we don't have any inside information. We're just speculating, so these aren't really spoilers either. So, you are warned. With that said, let's get started. Theory number one, they're gonna use PIM technology to travel through time. So, here's how the theory goes. In the mid credit scene for Ant-Man and the Wasp, right before Scott goes into the quantum realm, he's warned to avoid time vortexes. And don't get sucked into a time vortex. We won't be able to save you. And this is a post credit scene, limited time. You don't throw superfluous lines in there. Every sentence counts. And they just happen to throw in this thing about time vortexes, the danger of it. It seems too much like they're putting that in there to give us information that we need little seeds for where this movie's gonna go. Add to that, we've seen set photos of them at the Battle of New York, and you've got Steve Rogers, you've got Iron Man, and you have Ant-Man, and they got these right. weird bracelets on. And so you put, put that together, it seems like they're traveling back in time with Ant-Man to the Battle of New York for some reason. Right, and that actually builds into my theory. So, okay. theory number two. I think they're going back in time to uh, build their own Infinity Gauntlet. Interesting. So, hear me out. Like most of these, most of these stones were not in Thanos' possession until Infinity War. Mm -hmm. So, if they were to go back in time, they've got a chance to gain all six of them and maybe even the Gauntlet before Thanos even, you know, steps into the picture. That being said, there's another set photo with Tony Stark. You know, when Loki gets detained in the yep. first Avengers movie and the Tesseract gets transported, there's a photo with Tony Stark dressed up as one of the uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents in full SWAT armor, which makes no sense because he's out of his Iron Man costume. He's clearly not there to fight, so he's there to obtain something or infiltrate for some reason. Okay. And two of the Infinity Stones are already present in the first Avengers movie, this time period. Interesting, okay. Three number three, the dust people are actually in the Soul Stone. What? So when we see Thanos snap, it cuts to this sequence that's kind of dreamlike of him on like an orange planet. You got young Gamora there. Right. And it seems like there's this other realm and it's this very odd thing to put there unless it meant something, unless there was right. something going on, introducing us to this other realm, this other place that in theory, the dust people weren't actually killed white from existence. Okay. They're put into the soul stone. Okay, well, I mean, that's pretty cool. I honestly think there's a separate parallel reality that Thanos created with the uh, reality stone where all these other, you know, dust people are. But, um, uh, you know, whatever, yeah, they're in the soul stone. <laughs> Interesting. And theory number four. I think that there's either another enemy or something else cosmically going on. I say that because in all these pictures, these set photos, we're not seeing Thor yeah. or Captain Marvel. Nope. And they're the big guns. So mm -hmm. Thanos still has this huge army, presumably. So that being said, if they're missing from action, they might either be having to deal with Thanos' army, holding them off, protecting Earth, or there might be another enemy. Okay. Yeah. So in the Jonathan Hickman run, there's this ancient alien race known as the Builders. There are these incredibly powerful aliens that help evolve species and orchestrate a lot of cosmic events. I think that if they come out of the shadows somewhere, Thor and Captain Marvel might either have to build up an army to fight them or just be sent to take them out. Before we give you our last two theories, go ahead and tell us yours down below in the comment section. Also, yes. give us your feedback on our ideas. Tell us if you think you're crazy, if we're onto something. We'd love to hear all that. Also, after this video, be sure to check out this playlist up above of my best and most up-to-date MCU rankings. If you enjoy this video, there's almost certainly something in there that you will enjoy. And theory number five is that I think Captain America is going to die. Uh, I'm just kind of going straight into these Infinity War films. I just thought he's the soldier. They've right. played out his story arc. We know things about Chris Evans' contract and how long he's going to be in all of this. 
it just feels to me that this is the place to give him a soldier's death. And uh, Captain America's actually died, you know, in the comics yep. once or twice, most notably after the comic Civil War yep. event. And after that, actually, you know, Bucky took over for him mm -hmm. for a brief period of time. So there's a very real possibility Sebastian Stan's contract goes beyond Chris Evans. It was so interesting because they were already talking about this um, Falcon Bucky TV series yes. on the Disney streaming. So you put all this together. There's some interesting stuff that could be going on with Captain America after this movie. Oh, yeah. And but maybe not Steve. <laughs> and I mean, someone's got to take on the shield, mm -hmm. which actually leads me into theory number six. OK, six, which is that I think Cap's finally going to wield me owner. Nice. So, Very nice. So, I mean, not only is he in the past, right? But um, uh, we've already seen in Avengers 2, it'd be a nice callback to Avengers 2, yep. that Captain America budges Majorner when it's on the table. Thor is aware of it. But also that allegedly, I think canonically, they've said that within the MCU, Captain America couldn't move the hammer because of his guilt over knowing that Bucky had killed Tony okay. Stark's parents. So with that resolved and buried, there might be a chance that he's finally honorable. And Interesting. Will Mjolnir. And in the Fear Itself arc, which is by Matt Fraction, he does Will Mjolnir it... and call the Avengers into battle. Interesting how that could play out. But wasn't it destroyed in Ragnarok? Well, oh, so that actually kind of goes into this. Okay. I think since we see him in the past at the Battle of New York. Oh, inter okay, very nice. Yeah, you have thought this through. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell us yours down below in the comment section. Check out that playlist to the left with my best and most up-to-date rankings. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies and comic books too much.